go back to the British airmen who undaunted my odds, unwearied in their constant challenge and mortal danger, are turning the tide of the world war by their prowess and by their devotion. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. All our hearts go out to the fighter pilots whose brilliant actions we see with our own eyes day after day. Can, can I ask you something in English? Of course you can. So you were... Anything you want. So you were a Spitfire pilot. I flew Spitfire, yeah. but I flew also other fighters. Okay. Bow fighters. What was that? Foe fighters, yeah? Bow fighters. Bow yeah. fighters, yeah, okay. Yes. A very good machine. So you were in you were a wing commander yes. during the Battle of Britain. No, in the Battle of Britain was I not wing commander. Okay, okay. Yeah, but 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 you flew during the Battle of Britain. No, I not no, no. That okay. was the Ausbildung. In in English, in English. I was I was being taught. Yeah. Wo ist denn das Stückchen da runtergefallen? Ah, okay. Liegt das irgendwo da drüben? Um, so, so, Mr. Gruber, you were a, uh, in the 135th wing. Yes. So, so there's three squadrons in a wing. Yes. And you were a wing commander. I was a wing commander. In the RAF. In the Royal Air Force. And you fought the Germans during the Second World War. I fought the Germans, yes. Yeah. Well, Mr. Churchill, he said, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. And so but listen here. So you're one of those. He meant not me. He meant those boys that fought the Battle of Britain. Yeah. Verstehen Sie? In English, English. In England. First of all, the Battle of Britain was won against Hermann Göring's Luftwaffe. Yeah. And uh, you remember maybe the Dunkirchen, yeah. Dunkirk. Yeah. They, the Germans stopped their attacks Guderian. They could have taken all the others prisoners. But uh, listen good, listen to me. Yeah. But Hitler thought, he thought, he could win the British to fight with him the Russians. That's why he let them escape yes. from Dunkirchen back to England. Mm -hmm. But of course, the English, they had a man they, they called Winston Churchill. They would have never gone against the Russians with the Germans. No. Never in, the, in, in their lives. That wasn't planned. That, that was not his art. So, that, so that was not his way of thinking, his way of handling things. So Mr. Raymond Gruber, he's from Luxembourg and he was I'm a Luxembourg, yes. He was a pilot in the area fighting um, fighting the Germans and flying this this lovely airplane here and others. So it's, Mr. It's, Gruber, in uh, so on Christmas you were sitting here all alone. So what? And New Year's Eve as well. You know, listen here, yeah. that doesn't make a fucking difference. <laughs> <laughs> so sad as the Englander. Yeah. Listen here, you live once. And I have also overlived my times already. Yeah. Because when I sat in that plane, I never thought I would get 91 years of age. Can you imagine? 91 years. Oh, it's uh, enormous. It's fantastic. Yeah. But I, I think it's a bit sad that, I mean, uh, Mr. Churchill said, well, the, the famous phrase, like, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. 
and now you're sitting here all alone. What he meant? Yeah, I know, I know. He meant not me. Yeah, he but but anyway, you were you were in the RAF. That fought the, the Germans. Yeah. You understand? During the Battle of Britain. During the Battle of Britain, yes. Yeah, but you fought the Germans in the RAF. I was also in in London during the Battle of Britain. Oh, yeah. Because we were bombed every night. Yeah. And then came out this verfluchten. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. This politician Churchill said. And 70 years later in 2013, the Luxembourgian wing commander Raymond Gruber of the 135 wing and World War II Spitfire fighter pilot of the RAF. He spends his Christmases all alone in his apartment where he never comes out anymore imprisoned by his 91 years, alone and forgotten. So don't you go wage war in Iraq or Afghanistan for these politicians and for the financial elite, because no one will be thankful to you. You'll just end up as a human wreck with a TV switch in your hand, alone and forgotten or even worse.